Yahweh, Bar Shem, Yahweh Shah. And like to say, peace and safety to all the Akim out there to the four corners. All right, pushing this word in sincerity. All right, and the truth, of course. All right, we back out here another week, man. All right, a lot of shit in the news, of course. We always like to kick it off with a little uh, uh, news. All right, you hear uh, the government done shut down, supposedly. You know, uh, they ain't got funding for the government. Uh, they ain't come up with, they, with the little, with the little, uh, they came short up on the folks. So they shut down certain uh, government jobs, man. Certain shit shut down, all right? And that's one one clue that these devils going down, man. He, he The Lord getting them from the inside out, okay? They gonna self-destruct, man, all right? And uh, what we gonna come out here today and do, man, we are gonna bring some science to y'all today, man. We gonna jump it off in Ezekiel uh, chapter three and verse one. Come on with it. So Ezekiel chapter three, verse one. Moreover, he said unto me, son of man, eat that thou findest, eat this roll and go speak unto the house of Israel. So that's what we did, man. We were studying the scriptures, man. All right, like the Lord commanded us to do. Cause that roll talk about the scriptures, man. All right, and everything in the scriptures, okay? Everything in the scriptures, and we're gonna prove that, man. Go ahead. Verse two, so I opened my mouth and he calls me to eat the roll. So and the he, Lord starts supping with me, go ahead. And he said unto me, son of man, cause thy belly to eat and fill thy bowels with the roll that I give thee. Mm -hmm. Then did I eat, and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. Honey for sweetness. So what we gonna bring out today, man, we gonna go into the flat earth, man. We gonna crush that globe theory, man, all right? We gonna crush that globe theory. We gonna show you that we in fact living on the flat earth, man. With the uh, with the over under the in the earth with the firmament over us, man. All right, we all encased in, man. It's like a vault, man. Okay, and that and the scriptures support that. The scriptures don't support no globe, no globe, man. No sphere, man. All right, that's that's a uh, uh, mystery Babylon, man. That's more confusion, man. All right, <clears throat> go ahead. Uh, Verse four. But the point I want to make, sweet as honey. In my mouth is uh, when the Lord give you a uh, revelation, man, it, it feel good. Uh, All right. So through the scriptures, we're going to show precept upon precept that the earth is flat. We live in the earth, not on the globe. Come on with it. And he said unto me, son of man, go and get thee unto the house of Israel and speak with my words up unto them. So eat the roll, learn the Bible and go teach Israel. All right. The whole roll. All right. Not some of it. All right, go ahead. For thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech and of a hard language, but to the house of Israel. Go ahead. Not, not too many people of a strange like Yes, verse 6. Not too many people of a strange speech or of a hard language whose words that canst not understand. Surely have I sent thee to them. They would have hearkened unto me. But the house of Israel would not hearken unto thee. See, now we're going to see if the house of Israel going to hearken to the Lord, man. But we're going to come out the scriptures and show you, man, that the earth is flat, man. We live in the earth and not on the globe, man, according to the Most High. Go ahead. For they, for they will not hearken unto me, for all the house of Israel are in, impudent and, and hard-headed and hard-hearted. So and like, hard-hearted, and hard -hearted, man. Hard-headed. Okay? Because <laughs> that uh, hearted <clears throat> talking about the spirit, right? God. Spirit in the, in the in your head, so you hard headed, man. All right, but we gonna bring it out. We gonna show you, and like I said, we gonna crush that uh, uh that globe theory, man. All right, that Esau taught all us, man. Okay, that got all our people drunk off the wine of mystery Babylon, man. Confusion. Go ahead. Verse seven. But the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee, for they will not hearken unto me. For all the house of Israel, Salaki. Verse eight, Salaki. Behold, I will make. Behold, I have made thy face strong against their faces. So, so, in so many words, the Lord said, "Don't be scared to bring out His word, man." All right, just come out there bold as a lion, man, and bring out His word, cause it's in the Bible. All right, go ahead. And thy forehead strong against their foreheads. Go ahead. As as an um, adamant hard hardener than. Then flint have I made thy forehead. So, so, uh, 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 come out in, uh, in an austere spirit. All right, just like the Lord did, man. All right, and bring out the word. Like I say, bold as a lion, man. Okay, go ahead. Fear them not. Fear them not, man. All right, so anybody got a problem with, 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 with what uh, we're bringing out, out these scriptures, we don't fear that, man. We're going to bring out the Lord's word, man, like he commanded us to do. Go ahead. It says, neither be dismayed at their looks. 
Don't be dismayed at their looks, man. All right? Go ahead. Though they be rebellious be in a rebellious house. Now we're going to see who's going to rebel against the Lord truth, man. We're going to bring it up. What verse you at? Uh, verse 10. Read verse 11. Verse 11. And go get thee to them of the captivity. So go tell Israel what I'm talking about in this body. That's what the Lord say. The whole road. He say some of it. He say the whole road. Go ahead. Unto the children of thy people and speak unto them and tell them thus said the Lord power. And tell them what? Thus said the Lord power. That's what the Lord say. The Lord say the earth is flat, man. It ain't a, 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 a spear. That's what the Lord power say. All right? Go ahead. So whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. So whether you're going to hear what we're saying or whether you're not, man, we're going to tell you what the Lord say. All right? Get the um, wisdom of Solomon, uh, 717. Now, we're going to kick some science to you today, man. All right? We're going to show you how uh, uh, that the earth is flat. All right? Put a dome over it, man. Okay? According to the word of God, man. All right? According to Esau and Nassau, all right, the world is a globe. All right, this earth is a globe. Okay. Well, if I can expound, like the brother just said, if the earth has a uh, a dome over it, and the actual scientific term for that is a hemisphere. Mm -hmm. But the but the term of what the Lord uses is called firmament. Huh. Okay. This is our wisdom of Solomon, chapter seven, verse seventeen. For he hath given me certain knowledge of the things that are, namely, to know which is science. That's what the word science means. To know, mainly to know, to, to kick some science, all right? Huh. How the world was made. So the Lord gave me the knowledge, all right, to spit this science, what we finna spit today, and prove to y'all that the world is flat, man. And the operations of the elements. And the operation of the elements, man. Talk about the sun, the moon, the stars, all right, the water, all right? We're gonna break it down for you out of the Bible, though, all right? Not for Esau books. Uh, Not from uh, what's his name, Isaac Newton. Right. <laughs> yeah, all right. God. God. Neil deGrasse Tyson was that guy. Uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson. <laughs> all right, he saw top sorcerer. All right, the Jesuit order. Yeah, all that. Come out the science guy. <laughs> all these weird. All right, all these weird false. But what what they say about the science? Science falsely false. so called. Yeah, all that's right. right. Pseudo science. That, yeah, uh, con. All that's false, man. It's theories, man. It's based on theories. We coming out with the word of the Lord. Back in the day, they used to be called mad scientists. Is, mad uh, scientists. <laughs> Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, verse 17. For, <coughs> For you have given me knowledge of the things that are, namely to know. Namely to know, all right? And like the brother said, to know means science, man. Uh, okay? Go ahead. How the world was made and the operations of the elements. How the world was made and the operation of all the elements. Like, let's break it down to them and show them how the world was made and, and uh, teach all about how the elements work. Start off in Genesis. Uh, Genesis chapter, chapter one. 1, verse 6. All right, we're going to show you how the world was made. All right? And how all the elements work, man. Okay? This is not a, a, a water ball, man. All right? <laughs> You're not being held still by gravity. By man. what? By gravity, man. It's only buoyancy and density, man. I got Look a up, question man. for all the globe uh, believers. Can you prove to me out of the Bible gravity, man? Come. Huh. All right? Because if you believe that the earth is a globe, a ball, you got to believe in gravity, you man. To. <laughs> you got to. All right? And where that gravity theory come from? All right? Mystery Babylon. <laughs> all right? More confusion, man. All right? So the world is flat, man. The earth is flat. Okay, like the Bible say, read what you got. So read Genesis got. chapter one, verse six. And Yahweh said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the water. That's what we're talking about today, the firmament, man. Okay, in the midst of the water. Now, when you look up the word firmament, it tell you it's a solid arc, all right? Huh. That's protected, it's gonna tell you, let the scriptures huh. uh, see. In the midst of the waters and let it divide the waters from the water. So the Lord said, create a firmament and, and let it be for to divide the waters from the waters, man. What waters? The waters that you see in your ocean. Oh. All right. Even the water that we breathe that we can't see. Yeah. All right. The oh. oxygen. Right. Okay. Divided from what waters, though? The oh. waters that you look up in the sky and see, man. Right. right. Okay. With your own eyes. Okay. What no Big Bang Theory, man. Oh. All right. Esau tell you it was a Big Bang Theory. And if you believe in the uh, globe, you're you an atheist, man. Come on, you're a, 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 a Satanist. Because that's adverse against the Bible. Absolutely. Okay, that's adverse against the Bible. Go ahead. 
So uh, verse 7, and Yahweh made the firmament and divided the waters which were underneath the firmament. So he made the firmament, okay, and divided the waters that was underneath the firmament, which is here on, on earth where we live at, because we live under the firmament. Uh, Read. From the waters which were above the firmament. From the water that was above Ooh. the firmament. And okay? it was so. And it was so, man. <laughs> okay, so now we're in the globe. Uh. If we're on the globe, all right, that means we just standing on the earth with spaces over our head. Right. All right? I bet these guys believe in the Van Allen belt. Why? Because Esau said so. Right. All right? Uh. We getting it from the man who created it. But Salak, if you believe in the globe too, you got to believe that the earth is flying, following the sun at 66,000 miles an hour, man. God. And at the equator, we're spinning at 1,100 miles an hour. And that's cool. And we rotate the sun. Right, and we're <laughs> rotating around the sun. That makes no sense, man. And the that Bible no don't sense. support that. Mm -hmm. And if we're going around the earth at 1,100 miles an hour, how can I go 150 miles an hour in a straight line <laughs> anywhere? On, and why would I jump in the air I don't, don't land. I don't, I don't land 1,100 miles and not, uh, somewhere else. Con. Con. But I land in the same spot. Con. Gave us certain knowledge to know. We, like I said, we're gonna kick the science, man. Uh, Verse uh, eight. Uh, let's go to uh, something else. Con. You get that? Uh, is that Job 37 and 18? Get that Psalm 104. Yeah, you can pray that. I got. Said Psalms 104. Three. Yeah, man, that's more uh, 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 madness from the so-called white man, man. Uh -huh. We got to admit that the so-called white man taught us that, man. Uh -huh. All right? <laughs> taught us all that, man. Still perpetuating that same Still lie, man. Still perpetuating that same lie, man. I, I showed uh, somebody I know uh, 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 the breakdown of the flat earth. They say, but the white man got pictures, man. <laughs> I said, I'm telling you what God say. I'm showing you what the Lord say. You telling me by the CGI, by the picture that the devil got showed you, which, which the word devil go back to what? Deceiving. There you go. All right, and he be deceiving you niggas uh, from the beginning, man. What, go ahead. What you got? So Psalms 104 and, and three. Mm -hmm. Say, who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters? Who maketh the clouds who, his chariots? Who layeth the chambers of, of his what? His beams in the waters. Huh. All right, that's what divide the waters from the waters, man. Thus right. saith the Lord. All right, go ahead. Who maketh the clouds his chariots? Who maketh the clouds his chariots? We already know that. That's referring to the what? To the uh, chariots of the Lord. Right. All right, our salvation. That's right. All right, that's what that's what uh, pertaining to. Go ahead. Who walketh upon the wings of the wind? Who walketh upon the wings of the wind? That's it, old man. So, uh, what you got? You got something? Um, just dealing with the firmament real quick. Go ahead. This is uh, Job 37 and 18. Mm -hmm. Has thou, let's say, has thou with him spread it out the sky, which is strong as a molten looking glass? A molten looking glass. That's the firmament, okay? That's the firmament that, that we that we are in, okay? Go ahead. That's it on That's that? it. Come on, come on. You said, go uh, back to Genesis. Let's come. go ahead back to Genesis uh, uh, 14, uh, 114. Right, we're gonna, we're gonna prove it further. Go ahead, what you got? This is uh Genesis chapter 1, verse 14. Mm -hmm. And Yahweh said, Let the let there be lights in the firmament, let there be lights in the firmament. Mm. Uh, all right, God. all right, in the firmament. Now, we are we know that there's water above the firmament, right. the firmament was created to separate the waters above from the waters below. So, the Lord say, Let there be lights in the firmament, okay, not on the firmament, in the firmament. Go ahead. To divide the day from the night. Go ahead. And to let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and, I, and for years. And I got a question too. The Lord said, let there be lights. All right. So the so called white man said he landed on the moon. Come on, man. He says, Earth is land. How could, you, that? how could you land on a light? Right. It's just a light. Like the Lord says, Come. Start from the top. We Come. This is uh, Genesis 1 and 14. Yahweh said, let there be lights Light. in the firmament of heaven. And that's referring to what? The sun, the moon, the stars. That's right. Go ahead. To divide the day from the night, to let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years. Read, read on. And let them be for lights in the firmament of the heavens to give light unto the earth. And it was so. Lights in the firmament, Come. all right, to give light upon the earth. Come. All right. Go ahead. Verse 16. And Yahweh made two great lights. What's those two great lights? <laughs> 
the moon and the sun. The right. sun and the moon. Go the ahead. greater light to rule the day. The sun. And the lesser light to rule the night. The mm -hmm. night. And he made the stars also. Okay, so the so-called white man didn't land on a light. That's right. All right? He'll burn up. He'll burn up. So, you, are, you, so like, are you saying the moon is just a big ball of energy? It's just a light ball. That's it. That's just it. like that's the sun. That's, that's all it is. Come. Come. You can't land on it. Come. You can't live on it. Come. You get close to it, man. You're going to burn up. Don't stand for the Lord. It's a light. But the white man got the the sand and stuff. He got the pictures. <laughs> right. He got the pictures. You see what I'm saying? But the Lord telling you it's a light. <laughs> see what I'm saying? He landed on Universal Studios. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? God, okay. So uh, verse uh, 17. <laughs> and Yahweh sent them in the firmament. Set them in the firmament. Set them where? Set them in the firmament. In the firmament. That's right. All right. Up remember, the heavens. Re 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 remember, the firmament was wet, made to separate what? The waters from the waters. The waters above from the waters beneath. All right. So he, he created the sun, the moon, the stars, and set them in the firmament. Go ahead. Come. Of the heaven to give light unto the earth. To give light upon the earth. Go ahead. Not cheese, man. Not cheese. He <laughs> saw perpetuate that to the children and his cartoons and shit. Okay. <laughs> and to rule over the day and over the night, to divide the light from the darkness. And Yahweh saw that it was good. Read on. Verse 19. So, yeah, verse 19. And the evening and the morning was the fourth day. That's more confusing. Esau <laughs> taught us that the morning was the beginning of the right, day. Right, right. See, it's just confusion, man. Ooh. But like I say, he gave us certain knowledge to know. Right, it's right. the science, man. Right. Okay, this ain't come from the white man's school, straight out of the Bible, man. Go ahead. Verse 20. Uh huh. And Yahweh said, Let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creatures that have life. So now he creating the, 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 the moving creatures that have life. Come on with it. And the fowls that may fly above the earth in the open firmament. The fowls that fly above the earth, okay? Because the other animals walk on the earth. <laughs> oh the birds that fly up above the earth, where? In the open firmament. In the open firmament. God. Inside the firmament, That's man. Right. So how birds fly? They got gravity. How do they do that? How they do that? I just wanna. Okay. If you believe I in the globe, then you believe you got. If you believe in the globe, then you gotta believe in gravity. You got to. Man. You got to believe in gravity. So I got a question and you to all you atheists, man. To all the globe, to all the people that believe in the globe, Earth, can you prove gravity to me out of the Bible? All right. Uh, read on. Um, verse twenty-one. And Yahweh created great whales. And every living creature that moveth, which the waters brought forth abundantly. That, that's good on that. Come. Second Ezra 6 and 41. All right, we're gonna give you the same breakdown, all right, from Ezra. All right. Ezra saying the same thing. Okay. He gonna back up what Moses uh 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 tried it down. This is uh second Ezra chapter 6, verse 41. Mm -hmm. Upon the second day. Thou made us the spirit of the firmament. The spirit of the firmament. So it ain't just no damn glad <laughs> that the damn so-called white man can go crack. Right. All right. Ben Allen, though. Ooh, okay. The spirit. He said the spirit of the firmament. God. All right. You know Esau. Everything common to the so-called white man, and we just wanted to make that point clear. All right. You can't crack it, Esau. You can't get out. Right. All right. That's right. You can't get out. Nobody never been outside of this uh, earth pain in his body anyway. That firm, exactly, just like the brother said. That's why it's gonna take the Lord to come back in the chariot to deliver us, all right, change our bodies, and we're gonna show you, we're gonna be outside the firmament. That's right. All right, we're gonna bring that out. It's a restaurant. Uh, verse, okay, so lock it. Verse 41, the spirit of the firmament, and, the, and commanded it to part asunder, to make a division between the waters that one part might go up and the other remaineth beneath. So, so, so explain that firmament, man. Explain that water above, man. That's right. Because we, we in the firmament, which divide the waters from the waters. That's right. All right? So we're in something, man. That's right. All right? We have a ceiling over us, man. That's right. All right? And it ain't just glass. All right? It's just, it's a spirit, man. It's energy, man. Come on. Come on. Right? Impenetrable energy, man. Impenetrable energy. The Lord placed us in the firmament. That's where your ass gonna be until the Lord's gonna take you out of the firmament. That's right. Until you decide to give you a, a, a celestial, a celestial body. Yeah, exactly. Where you, where you? Uh, 43. You going? No. Uh, did you read that some rock? Uh, 43 and 8? Uh, no, not yet. Yeah, we got it. All right, we got plenty of scriptures, man. 
All right, when ain't nothing, talk about the globe. Uh, it's, right. it's like that way they couldn't touch your Howard shot when he came back, right? Mm -hmm. He had that new body. It was, exactly. it was power. It's uh, energy. Come on. Come he, he was the only body that actually ascended up into my the flesh and all that, man. Come on. Yeah, Go ahead. Uh, 43 and what, bro? Uh, 48 and, uh, 43 and 8. Okay, so like, this is Ecclesiastes 43 and 8. It said the month is called after her name. That month is, is referring to the moon. Come on. Okay. And increasing wonderfully in her changing, being an instrument of the of the armies above, wow. shining in the firmament of heaven. Shining what? Wow. Shining in, in the firmament of heaven. In the firmament of heaven. Come. Just like Genesis said. Come. That's where the moon shines at. In the firmament, not out millions of miles away, like Esau, out of right. space. Right. Come. It's in the firmament. Come. Million light years not, away. Not us being the third planet from the sun. Exactly. It's in the firmament with the rest of the uh, uh, creatures he created and, and placed in the firmament. <laughs> That's why the moon then, you can look up in the sky and see it. And it's we, right there. So like it's not it's not neocentric, it, it's geocentric, man. The earth don't move, man. No, everything it don't move. Else, everything else circumnavigates the earth, man. Well, we're going to prove that the, the scriptures uh, support that uh, point, man. The earth don't move. I okay? got one quick one on that one, too. Regardless of what the so-called white man told us that the, look, the the earth is rotating around the sun. That's oh, garbage, man. man. That's garbage. <laughs> That's confusion from uh, Mystery Babylon, man. What you got? No, I'm going to finish reading this real quick. It's uh, chapter uh, Ezekiel, uh, Ecclesiastes 43. Okay, come on, come on. Get Psalms 48 to 4. Come on, come on. Alright, we're just giving you precept upon precept, alright, of the Lord talking about uh, describing the earth and our habitation where we live in, oh. the habitation we live in, and it's not describing the globe, it's not describing the water ball, alright, it tell you the moon, the sun, the stars was placed in the firmament, That's the right. same place where the animal was at, and we can look around and see files flying around and animals walking around. That's simple. Okay. Uh, let me read this real quick, this is uh, Psalms, uh, 19 and 1. To the chief musician, a psalm of David, the heavens declare the glory of Yahweh and the firmament show of his handiwork. The firmament Ooh. show of his handiwork. Come. That moon will start, jump down to six. Come, come, come. It, it show, it show, uh, and, and, and the firmament show of his handiwork. That's right. Uh, it's verse 6. Uh, his goings forth is from the end of the heavens and his circuit upon the ends of, ends of it. Okay, he's talking about the sun, but I thought the earth rotate around the sun right but it's talking about the sun we're gonna prove it go ahead the and sun got a nothing. circuit go oh, ahead that's right and there is nothing here from the heat thereof <laughs> that's talking about the sun go ahead the law of the lord is perfect nah that's it on that read that again though uh this is uh psalms 119 and this is 19 and 6. and this for everybody that believe in the globe all right the sphere okay so then, if, if, hold on so lock up Meaning if you believe in the globe and what Esau taught you, all right, that means the sun is still and the earth will take round the, the sun. But let's see what the Bible says. His going forth is from the end of heavens, and his circuit, which is circle, is upon the, the ends of it. So that's talking about the sun moving. Right. All right? It's doing something. All right? And there is nothing hid from the heat thereof. All right? Talk of, referring to the sun. All right? So, that, that, that's it. so uh, Psalms uh, 148 and uh, 4. Mm -hmm. Oh, start at 3. <clears throat> it's a uh, uh, praise, praise ye him, sun and moon, praise him, all ye stars of light. Praise him, ye heavens and heavens, and ye waters that be above the heavens. And the waters that be where? Above the heavens. All right, above the heavens. Okay. So, going back to Genesis, all right. The firmament was created, man, to separate the waters from the waters, man. All right? Hey, the earth flat, according to the Bible. All right? Ain't no globe like the white man taught us. All right? All right? <laughs> they don't give a damn. <laughs> they don't give a damn. About, about, hey, but we, like I say, man, we're going to spit the science, man, for the people who do want to know. All right? Go ahead. He just think we some niggas, man. We just yeah, niggas. We just niggas. Say, let them praise the name of the Lord, he that commanded, and they were created. Crush 
in the so-called white man theory, man. All right, and anybody believe in the flow, all right, you, you, you follow the so-called white man. You're confused by this mystery Babylon. They got you confused. All right, go ahead. What's so, up, 1 Corinthians 3 and 17. If any man defile the temple of Yahweh, him shall Yahweh destroy. For the temple of Yahweh is holy, which the temple ye are. Jump down to 19. For, for the wisdom of this world is foolishness with the most high. For mm. the wisdom mm. all right, of this world, mm. this current world that we live in, is foolishness to the most high, man. That's right, huh? All right? Thus saith the Lord, man. That's what he said. That globe theory, man, that's foolishness, man. Mm. All right? Gravity, that's foolishness, man. It can't be proven, man. It's a theory. The Van Allen belt. Huh. The, 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 the sun and the moon being weighed out in another galaxy. The sun and the moon and stars is in the same galaxy we in. Right. In the firmament. Like the Bible said. But they believe in NASA though, huh? Come on. Hey. Come on. They believe in NASA though. That's a high level uh that's, that's high level sorcery and witchcraft. NASA man. is definitely that money. So the as money. you walk in school, man, that's right. Preschool, you take your kid and enroll them in school, they got the globe sitting right there. That's right. right. They already showing you it in, in, on TV. Okay. And, and NASA like was, said, was started by the Vatican. Con. They were started right. by the Vatican. The NASA was made by the Vatican. That's right. Con. So the people gotta right. look there, look that up. You know what I'm saying? Con. And before Christopher Columbus was over here, everybody knew that the world was flat. That's common <laughs> uh that's common knowledge. <laughs> that's the reason he supposedly, you know, supposedly. Right. And the sun the, the circuit of the sun, it goes to the tropic, I think, of cancer and down to the uh is it the tropic of Capricorn and then then down to cancer. That's the circuits, man. But the point is, the sun moves. He saw right. toward us, the sun don't move. That's right. They say the earth is moving, all right, around the sun. And like the brother say, if he jump up, how about you get in a helicopter, you hover up. If the earth moving, Bahamas should come to you. Come on. Right. Because it's moving. At 1,100 miles an come hour. Come on, man. <laughs> come on. It says, uh, for it is written, he taking the wise in their own craftiness. He's taking the wise in their own craftiness. Uh, all right, didn't it say uh, Esau with his crafty counsel? That's right. All right, that's part of his crafty counsel to make you believe that the, uh, the, uh, the earth is a globe, man. That's right. All right, and therefore you got to believe in the Big Bang Theory. All right, and therefore you are believing in sat uh, Satanism, man. That's right, huh? All right, you're right. believing in lies, man. That's right. But that ain't what the Bible supports. That's right. All right? And we getting it from the Bible, the man who created the earth. All right? Uh, that's right. If you talk to them ancient uh, Native American tribe, they believe that your soul go back to the father. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. You know, you become one of them stars. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what they, yeah, that's yeah. What they believe. You know yeah, what I'm they saying? They're going off. They're going off on that, yeah, of course. Definitely. Oh, this is uh, Psalms 93 and 1. Yeah, boy. The Lord reigneth. He, he is clothed with majesty. The Lord is clothed with strength. Wherewith he hath girded himself, the world also is established. Established. That it cannot be moved. That it That's what? Cannot be moved. So the sun rotate in the firmament and for the light on the earth. For, and be a ruling light in the daytime on the earth. All right? The earth don't move. That's right. Okay? That's right. a real quick swift. This is uh, Psalm 96 and 10. Uh, say among the heathens that the Lord reigneth. The world also shall be established that it shall not be moved. He shall judge the people righteously. So, so the, the, the world don't move, man. All right, we're not rotating <laughs> all right, <laughs> around the sun. It's not a heliocentric, man. Give First uh, Chronicles 16 and 30. First Chronicles 16 and 30. All right. I right, like to say, man, we're going to spit the science, man. All right, like Solomon said in Wisdom of Solomon. He gave us certain wisdom to know, all right? That verse. Chronicles. Come, come. Yeah, 16, 30. Come. come. Gave us certain knowledge to know, which that word go back to science. Yeah. So we spit in the real science, That's man. Right. Okay? The truth. Go ahead. This is uh, First Chronicles 16 to 30. Fear before him all the earth. The world also shall be stable. Stable. That it be not moved. Come on, man. Come on. This is what the Bible's saying. Huh. All right? Got, Isaac Newton told you this. Come on, man. We got many scriptures. I mean, you many know? witnesses. Come on, come on. We got a whole goddamn... Hey, we got <laughs> many witnesses, man. Start with the Lord. Come. All the way down to... See, like the brother said, David, Job. 
Pump, man. Uh, get that uh, Isaiah 40, 40 and 22. This the scripture they use. This the scripture they use to uh, say that the earth is uh, a water ball. <laughs> right. Like I said, if you believe in the globe, then you believe in gravity, man. Yeah. Okay? And I want you to prove gravity to me out of the Bible, man. And everything he saw say, man, the earth is following the sun. We just read it. We just the read earth it. don't move. Don't the sun move. is circumnavigating the earth. <laughs> so you got to be an atheist, man, if you don't believe the word, man. Okay. Let's go back to Satan. The Antichrist. The Antichrist. No. This is uh, Isaiah 40 and 22. It is he that sitteth on the circle of the earth. It is he that he, he that sitteth what? On the circle of the earth. All right. Talk about the most high. All right. Uh, he sitteth upon the circle of the earth. All right. And we did a video explaining, uh, describing that circle. All mm -hmm. right. Describing that circle. Go ahead. And the habitations thereof are as grasshoppers. So what about everybody on, on, on the bottom of the, the Chinese? Because he said he, he said if upon the circle of the earth looking down upon us, so that means the Lord got a glass flow. <laughs> you know? Yeah, that's right. Crystal. I ain't gonna say glass, I'm gonna say crystal. And we're gonna prove uh uh I'm gonna show you why I said that. Uh, go ahead. He said uh it says in the habitation thereof are as grasshoppers that stretch it uh, Salaki, that stretch it out the heavens as a curtain. That and stretches out the heavens like a curtain. That's that firmament. Okay? Look up. You can see it. Right. All right? It's stretched out. Okay? Go ahead. And spread them out as a tent to dwell in. And spread it, and spread it, the firmament out as a tent for who to dwell in? Who dwell? What we read in Genesis, man. Yeah, who dwelling in the sun, the moon, the stars. That's right. right. That fowl. That's right. And all the creatures. They <clears> in <throat> the firmament. Right. So grass say, read that last part again. Uh, he said, and spread them out as a tent to dwell in. Spread them out as a tent. So let's 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 uh everybody know what a tent looks like. Exactly. It's 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 a a covering, a dome shaped right. covering right. that you set up upon land to do what? Dwell in. That's right. All right. So the Most High describing the earth. He's not describing a a, a water ball, man. And so look, if I can say in geometry, a tent is is a hemisphere. Which the, the measurements of a hemisphere is 144. Look it up. Mm. Alright, so we're destroying Esau madness. Go ahead. So Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 6. The wind goeth toward the south and turn about unto the north. It whirled about continually, and the wind returned again according to his currents. Jump up to uh, like two and we'll talk about the sun. Come. On. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 1 and 2. Vanities of vanities, saith the preacher. Vanities of vanities. All is vanity. What profit have a man of all his labors which he have under the sun? That he have under the sun on land.